Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and give us your full name and who you work for. Yeah. Well, my name is Heather Fazio, and I work with a coalition of organizations, Texans for Responsible Marijuana Policy. And we're working on bringing people together on issues that they agree on. And uh, in large part, medical marijuana is one of those issues that, you know, it transcends party lines. This is about people. It's not about politics. And that's what we're seeing with these people coming forward with their personal stories, being willing, like never before, to share how their medical condition is affecting them and how cannabis is helping other like them around the country, but they don't have the freedom to do so here in Texas. We had 60 plus people come and testify at the bill yes. I, I laid out last session. Uh, several of them were doctors and talking about their research and how it's helped with their patients suffering from a spectrum of, of illnesses. So tell me about what you mean by compassionate use, responsible marijuana policy and what other states have done. Yeah, well throughout the country we have 29 states that allow patients safe and legal access to medical cannabis. Texas is not one of them because of how unreasonably restrictive the compassionate use program was. Now while it is unreasonably restrictive, 2015 was a historic year with the passage of the Compassionate Use Act, which allows those with intractable epilepsy to access low THC cannabis. And we're finally seeing in Texas that program be rolled out by the Department of Public Safety, patients getting access to this medicine, uh, but so many patients are being left behind. And we see them having access around the country and Texans deserve that freedom as well. So, so let's talk about some of those patients. As soon as I filed the House bill and made it a comprehensive, broad, compassionate use medicinal uh, cannabis bill, mm -hmm. I, I heard from so many families, yeah. right? What we have right now is for the use to assist in the treatment of epilepsy. That's right. And that is because it has been proven and we believed in 2015 when we voted on this legislation that it would really help control seizures. Yeah. But there are many conditions that cause seizures that aren't included in that definition. That's right. And so those families get no relief. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's exactly right. And we've seen uh, people from Texas uprooting their families to go to other states, uh, even when they do have intractable epilepsy. And they we call qualify. them medical refugees. Refugees. Right? Right. They are having to flee their home in order to gain access to this medicine that's saving lives around the country. Right. You know, we hear stories all the time of these families that are uprooting and, and they would qualify for the compassionate use program. But the program is not only restrictive in that it only allows those with intractable epilepsy to access it, but it only allows access to low THC cannabis and that's a significant problem for a lot of patients because THC is very therapeutic right. so folks aren't going to be brought home by this program we need a comprehensive program like what you introduced right. that brings safe and legal access to those with debilitating conditions tell us a little bit about the different uh, uses and how the only alternative available to some of these patients right now are opioids and how yeah. dangerous of an epidemic that has become. Yeah, absolutely. Well, there wasn't a dry eye in the room uh, during the hearing. These people coming forward and laying their hearts out for these right. legislators, and it was just tremendous to see the switch right after that of all the support, from not only the committee, but the half of the Texas House signing on right. uh, to that bill because of these people coming forward and sharing their stories. And the opiate epidemic in this country is very real, and it is affecting hundreds of thousands of people, and we are losing people daily. And in states that have access to medical marijuana, opiate over overdose deaths have declined 25 to 33 percent just by giving people the option to use this natural alternative to opiates. And we heard from pain management specialists during the hearing. We heard from patients that are suffering from um, back surgery to cancer that are using opiates. It's dangerous, it's addictive, and they want an alternative. Regarding the different medical conditions that, that can be affected by this, we saw folks that are uh, truly suffering from the effects of cancer from um, you know, Down syndrome, from cerebral palsy, from a number of different PTSD, issues. PTSD, MS, chronic pain, Crohn's right. disease. Right. Even those with seizure disorders that aren't intractable seizures. Right. One family in particular, their daughter was suffering every three minutes for many years, every three minutes from really severe seizures. She was uh, destructive, uh, violent, so on and so forth. They had never seen her smile. They had never really made that connection. As soon as they experimented with, with medical cannabis, her attitude, her quality of life completely changed. Yeah. And, and so in, versus the alternative of 
all sorts of medications that have side effects that are sometimes even worse That's right. than the condition that they suffer from. That's right. And it's not just improving the quality of life of the patient, but their families and their support right. systems. I mean, this is the potential to help millions of people in Texas, not just the ones that are using it, but the, the whole uh, circle of the family. And you know, we, we're strong on family values in Texas, and we want to be able to help people help their children. And that's what we heard in the committee hearing, and that's what we hear from patients and parents, caregivers around the state of Texas. And now, like like never before they're coming forward and that's a lot of what the work that I do is helping to empower them to get involved in the process calling a senator's office calling a representative's office is intimidating for folks but it shouldn't be you know this is a, a, a form of government that should be representing the people and by and large uh, Texans and Americans want to see patients having access it's over 80 percent approval rating in Texas we need our lawmakers to represent uh, that contingent of people that want to see a compassionate approach to medical marijuana well, Heather, you're doing God's work. Thank you for what you do. For those listening out there, we want to bring you these stories as frequently as possible. We ask you to contact our office. We want to get you on camera. We want to hear how your use of medical cannabis has impacted your family, your quality of life. There's a lot of stories to share and a lot of work to be done. We, we're going to walk this walk with you and look forward to hearing from you very, very soon. Thank you. Take care.